So David, we've already addressed the air quality issues in this country house here per radon. So now we don't have to worry about breathing in radon in the house. However, because we are on a rural property, we're on a well. What a lot of people don't know is radon actually gets trapped in the water molecules. So if we're in a well, the water's not properly aerated, and what can happen is you can ingest that and you can get stuff like colon cancer, blood cancer, and stomach cancer, right? Absolutely. If you've got radon in the air in the house and you are on a well, 100% of the time you will have radon in your well water. It's undisputable. Everywhere in North America, that's the case. All you have to do is test your water, test your air. It's very cheap, very easy to do. Once you find out if you have those radon levels, you take the next step. And the only way to know you have it is to test. Colorless, odorless, tasteless. So now that we have addressed the air quality issues, we also have to address the water issues. And by installing the air well, we now address both. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna install basically an aeration system down this well. It's patented technology called air well. We're gonna be feeding lengths of pipe down this well. We'll go past the pump right down to bedrock, which in this case is about 100 feet. We'll pull it back up about five feet so we're not slurping mud through the system. Yes. We'll introduce some air into the pipe and that will aerate the water. Mm -hmm. It'll pull the water from the bottom of the well up through the pipe, aerate it. There's small vents and it'll release the radon gas outside the house before the water enters the home. So there's two scenarios in your home where you can actually either ingest the radon from the well or if you're showering, what can happen is all that steam. Oh yeah, for sure. It can change after a 15 minute shower. We can see it go from a level of 40 or 50 becquerels up to 1,000 or 2,000 becquerels. So this is something that people need to start thinking about is we need to address the radon levels in our water as well as our air. We would always start with the air first as we did in this house. You know, last yeah. fall we came in, we tested the house. Right. It was above the Health Canada action level. So we dealt with it in the air first. Now we've got to deal with it in the water. So that now we're safe on all levels. Absolutely.